Hello, Virgos. This is your mid month for the 15th through the 31st for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for coming. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. All personal reading information is available on the website, which is listed down below the video, okay? We're going to start with a Celtic cross spread, all right? The energy that is surrounding you is the hanged man. Let's see what is your challenge here. The sun. Mm. Let's see what the issue is here. The empress. What was going on in your recent past? This is Ten of Wands. Mm. Aries got this same, a lot of these same cards here. Um, the Ten of Wands in the um, in the recent past as well. A lot of burdens. Let's see what the best possible outcome is here. The Two of Cups. Hmm. What's coming in for you guys? Let's see. The Devil. How you see yourself. The Lovers. Hmm. The outside influence is justice hmm okay let's see what your hopes are eight of Pentacles and your fears it's temperance and the overall outcome for my Virgos it's the ten of cups hmm beautiful all right, guys, so the energy that's around you is that um, you're kind of, you kind of stuck here. Um, I think that right now you just really kind of don't know what to do um, as far as uh, this love, because this is all about love, I feel. Um, you don't really know what to do with this person, okay? There's something about them that truly makes you happy, but something about them that kind of makes you feel um, like they are like a challenge. You know, it's challenging to be with this person. So right now you're choosing to do nothing, take your hands off of it. But your challenge is to be enlightened, to wake up, to see what's right before your eyes here that there is growth here that there is love here there is something that really is wanting to flourish within you and it's regarding this other person could be a leo that you're dealing with does not have to be okay but um there is a need your challenge is to wake up and see what is right in front of you what you know in your heart what makes you happy okay what truly makes you happy here how you see yourself is ha basically having to choose between yourself and someone else leo energy as well leo's reading went something similar to this okay so it could be a leo that a lot of you are dealing with but this is you having to choose between, I think, yourself and someone else. Whether or not you are willing to um, compromise here in order to have this love with this person. All right? So, but the issue is here is that there is somebody that you see like, you see everything with. This person you, you view as your family. This is growth as in the sun energy here. This is growth. This is potential for abundance with this person. This is why you're here. Because you're trying to decide whether or not you choose yourself. Whether or not you choose to go on. And you know, can you be abundant within yourself? Can you really feel fulfilled by yourself? Or is being with this person where your true fulfillment is 
you have a very important decision to make here um, because this person has been um, a challenge to you I think you felt a little smothered before in this connection and um, this could be like you wanting to be free you wanting to be single at least that's what you felt like in the past um, and you felt like you know this connection was kind of holding you down holding you back from what it really was that you wanted to do even here okay so but the best possible outcome here is that um, you realize that there is an undeniable connection between you and this person that you guys love each other that there is no other love like this one okay this is the best possible outcome for you guys. That's beautiful. Now what's coming in for you is I feel like you're going to have to face your fears. You're going to have to face whether or not you truly want to be single or whether you be, want to be with this person. Is this worth it? Is this worth it? Because you feel this very strong attraction to this person. Um, maybe, you know, being with this person, you have to be financially responsible for them. Maybe you feel weighed down. Maybe you feel like there is some kind of bias that this person has towards um, the way that you are. You know, maybe they're not as accepting as you would like them to be. But I feel like this person is like your attachment like you guys are bound to each other and I feel that you have this strong sense that you know this person is this person can be either your downfall or they can be you know your end all be all you know so it's like there's this very strong bond between the two of you is what I'm getting here with this devil energy like there's a lot of good there's a lot of bad um, maybe there's some codependency here that needs to be worked out but this is what's coming in for you so I feel like you know you guys are revisiting this situation also you facing whatever it is that um, you have been struggling with so I think you will come out of this this mode where you're just feeling like you're going to take your hands off of it and you will start addressing these issues that you have, okay? So what your outside um, influence is, is justice here. Um, this is balancing out the, the universe. This is balancing out energies. This is making things right, okay? Walking a tight line to make things right because we all have this, this shadow side to us. Nobody is perfect. But this is like balancing out that energy and making things the way that you sh the way that they should be. Okay, making things right, making all things right in the world is what this is. But for you, <laughs> this is making things right in your life. This is adjusting in ways that will balance out um, situations, balance out the energy between you and someone else here. Whether this is an apology, whether this is a reconciliation, whatever this means for you, okay? Just making things the way that they should be, okay? So your hopes is that you can work together, that you can like get yourself together um, enough to do what you know is right. This is building on yourself and building with others, working on things, working together. This is what you're hoping to do, okay? That both of you will realize where your shortcomings are and you can work together. Your fears is that, you know, this won't be harmonious. That things will not work out the way that you would like for them to. Maybe this person is not balanced. You know, maybe they're not on the same accord with you. This is what your fear is. That, you know they're still bringing like this very challenging energy towards you so yeah but in the overall outcome look what we have the ten of cups this is you having it all 
this is you having it all with the person that um, that you are currently thinking about Piscean energy here okay could be an Aries Pisces person um, somebody that has um, Gemini maybe in their chart Capricorn Libra uh, Cancer Leo Sagittarius Taurus even um, does not have to be those signs but that is the energy that's present just take the situation you guys as it resonates and um, that is what I have for you this is beautiful this is absolutely beautiful but again your challenge is to decide what truly makes you happy and go for it address the issues that you need to address here the things that you do not like about this person the things that you do not like about yourself you know and do what you feel is right all right so i'll be speaking with you soon my virgos